Hey, you guys think you know which way it's going to go? Yeah. Always. Well, you should head on and over to Sports Interaction, whatever sport. Sports Interaction has you covered pregame, live and betting, and all major sports. And, of course, your prop bets. If you want to bet, where do you go, guys? Sports Interaction. Sport, SportsInteraction.com slash SDPN. Come on. 19 plus, please play responsibly. Can um, I ask you guys a question about Florida slash the Eastern Conference? Yeah. No. So, no, oh, I can't ask Steve. Well, Adam, uh, there's one spot left in the second wildcard spot. Pittsburgh, okay. New York, Florida. Which New York? Rangers? Islanders. Okay. Islanders. How dare you? Rangers are way <laughs> up in third in the Metro. So there's one spot. We got Pittsburgh. We got the Islanders. We got Florida. We got Buffalo. Buffalo was at 47. Pittsburgh's in that spot at 51. Of those four teams, we can throw in Detroit too. I might throw in Detroit. Yeah, yeah let's throw in Detroit. Detroit's been... Uh, not been playing great, four, five, and one the last ten, but we'll throw them in two. So of those five teams, that one spot, who you got? Mm. I it's want better. it. I want it to be. Um, I want it to be Buffalo. It's not going to be, but I want it to be because I love the story. I love the idea that they get in and they have to play the Bruins, and they got nothing to lose, and the Bruins have everything to lose. And what a great story that would be, right? Because you th- you're talking about, like, remember when Brady, like Tom Brady and the New England Patriots went, like, undefeated the entire year right up until the Super Bowl where they lost? That it was could, fun. I like you that. You could have, like, if you have a Sabres team with nothing to lose going up against the last dance Bruins, what a story. Now, if, if the Bruins come in and run their show, well, the Sabres uh, learn something. But if that series becomes interesting, and you somehow get the the Boston Bruins on their heels. I don't know. Like I, it's almost like with sometimes with younger teams, it almost feels like you're ignorant enough not to know that you shouldn't be doing that, that you shouldn't be winning against these types of teams. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I want it to be the Sabers. I think it'll be the Pens. I, I can't ever bet against Crosby. I'm gonna go with the Pens too. Like right now, things are going great for Florida. The Islanders have two wins in their last ten. That's not going to be a thing that lasts. And the Penguins only have three in their last 10. That's probably not going to be a thing that lasts. So you got to rely on both teams ahead of you maintaining the worst stretches of their season. Both of them. It does have to be both of them. It's not good Mm -hmm. enough that it's one of them. Mm -hmm. So tough to go with Florida there, even though they're hot. I'll, I'll go with Pittsburgh. They're yeah, all he, kind of bad right now. The, the only team above 500 in their last 10 out of the teams that we mentioned is Florida. And that's Blake? just rare. Uh, Adam, Wild, you got to the edge of the cliff and you didn't jump. The correct answer is Buffalo Sabres, everybody. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're on fire. They can do yeah. it. Let's go. Young team. Uh, nothing to lose, like you said. Like I'd love to see the Buffalo Sabres in the playoffs, and I think they could do it. Asterisk, um, though. They'll only be able to do it if they wear the goat head jerseys. <laughs> yes. Agreed. Their record with those jerseys is uh it's really good. Concerning. Yeah. And like if they if they get the goaltending they need from whatever combination of Uka Pekka and Eric Comrie and Craig Anderson or whoever they need to run out there, if they get that goaltending, Corel Vamelka. Po- <laughs> no, there's a possibility. You never know. Maybe even, dare I say, Thatcher Demko. No, uh, everything is no on sale way. in BC. No way. Get out of here. Send them out east. No way. Vancouver is not smart enough to give up yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I, they finally got there. Uh, you do? You actually think Vancouver's there? Yeah. I don't know. They're but not I think there. So. They're not there. No? I don't think they're there. I, and I love Jim. I love Jim Rutherford's 53 minute press conference the other day, but I didn't know. I, I want to ask you guys. I want to ask you guys. And I have done. Full disclosure, zero prep on this. Okay. Oh, let's go. Okay. This is a completely off the top of my head. And I can't wait for the comments to go, you don't know shit. And I'm going to be straight up with you. I don't know shit. But I do have to ask you with two wins in the last 10 games, missing the playoffs last year, what happens to the New York Islanders if they maintain a pace on or just slightly above this the rest of the year? Let's say they finish 10th in -hmm. the conference. Let's Mm -hmm. say they finish ninth in the conference. At what point? After four years there, Lou Lamorello running the show, the organization is much better than it used to be run. They've had some serious success. Actually, this is five years of Lou Lamorello. 
at what point do you say, okay, you've changed the coach. Uh, your goalie's really good. Sorokin's in the all-star game, but we can't score. And this continues to be a problem and we can't solve it, or we haven't solved it. At what point do you say, okay, maybe it's time for a fresh set of eyes. You don't need a, you don't need to rebuild it, but is there a fresh set of eyes, a new way of looking at the painting in the Islanders future based on zero prep, Steve, Jesse. I'm really upset with the way that you framed the question because I thought you were just going to ask a general what's going to happen. And I was going to say uh, Lou Lamarillo five-year contract extension. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, no. I, you, you know how we've in the past talked about trades that didn't happen. Mm -hmm. And then I, I just feel like you don't go from being on the verge of trading for JT Miller um, to being satisfied with your roster. You know what I mean? We need okay. to go out and we need to get JT Miller. Oh, oh, we didn't get JT Miller. Oh, okay. It's fine. I, I think the Islanders who are silent assassins, uh, potentially have a big swing in them. Okay. I mean, they, they, they've allowed some of the least amount of goals in the league, but they've also scored in the bottom third. And that, like, that seems to be the problem, right? Is they can't score goals. They're going to have to solve that. Yeah. And you, they're in a really tight race. You could have just kept Barry they, Trotz if you were going to be Barry Trotz. Like, right. Because it seems like that again, doesn't it? 